two of your buddies. That's what you're doing here. This is what all this pork is. This is porculus. The President of the United States has said, Barack Obama, you've got to cut waste. This money belongs to the property owners of the city of Los Angeles. It belongs to the man who pays his business property taxes, who pays his personal property taxes unsecured. This belongs to the taxpayers. It belongs to the roads, the libraries, the schools, and nothing else. Anything else is theft. And that's why this is an atrocious example of corruption. Please catch the uh, CRA shirt here. Waste of CRA money. They gave it to me for nothing. Okay, let's look at what happened here. You passed, in violation of state law, this $930 million transfer in January. We got up and we said we would hire a lawyer. He laughed. He smirked at you. Let me tell you, at us. He who smirks last smirks best, and we smirk last. So what happened? We said we'd hire a lawyer. Uh, Dennis Winston, we have hired a lawyer, he sent you a letter, eight continuances at city council, while you, uh, and then you had to come up, this is paginated, this new, uh, uh, this new memorandum, it's 37 pages, they had to totally revise what they passed in January, because it was against the law, the city attorney stood up and said, it's not against the law, everything they're doing is correct, it was wrong. It was illegal. I want to thank Aaron Epstein. Let me tell you, Aaron Epstein's father and Aaron Epstein created the first courtyard mall in Los Angeles, crossroads of the world. It's still there. You try to tear it down at one point, he fought back and you pushed away. You pulled away. I'm telling you, Aaron Epstein, I want to thank him and his help with Dennis Winston, and we're not finished. So you notice how quiet they get. Why is this coming back? You passed it already. Why is it called a oh, Because we beat you. You were still, you, in your letter to us, you said, an abundance of caution, you're going to repass it. But you're not repassing it. You have totally revised this. The reason you were afraid in January was that Brown would freeze all the CRA money. Like a rat caught in a trap. Chewing its own leg off in a panic to escape. Look at them. Politically correct in their shade of colors, but they're interested in one color. The color green. That's your God. The great God green. For shame, CRA board. Uh, Aaron Epstein? Yeah, well, I'm glad you are. Steve Kopra. And then Mike Goldberg. Uh, good morning, Mr. Chairman. Uh, I might have mentioned it before, but maybe it's, it is a big deal to me. Uh, I was born in Boyle Heights on Britannia Street. My name is Epstein, not Epstein. Uh, I'm a taxpayer uh, in the Hollywood Project area. At a community meeting a month ago with their local police captain in Hollywood, uh, our captain told us the sad news that she is forced to lay off 74 of her police officers because they do not have the budget to support them. Likewise, our fire department's uh, staff is being diminished because of the lower budget. Near my home in North Hollywood, California, it is actually dangerous. My wife has to watch out for potholes because if she hits one, there goes your expensive tire. Now, I am not so dogmatic as to say that this work of this agency has been entirely negative. Personally, I have supported some projects that made sense. And also, I have opposed others that did not, particularly ones that called for the eminent domain use, or ones that call for doing business with known con artists as Mr. Katursky. But dear commissioners, times have changed. This is no longer what we had in Los Angeles three years ago or five years ago. Our great city is struggling financially. It is close to going broke. Our tax dollars should be going towards maintaining 
basic city and school services, not luxury developments. It is argued, and it might make some sense, that CRA projects will create jobs. But today we are losing jobs amongst our need of police, fire, and education personnel. I therefore ask you to please support Governor Brown's proposal and allow the agency to go on a needed hiatus. Thank you for listening. Uh, Chair, I just want to say that that thoughtful, valid, um, respectful comments like that are very uh, welcome. Well, you both my way. <laughs> <laughs> No. Okay, my name is uh, Jose Aguilar, I'm President of Ballheads River Council, a member of El Sereno and Lincoln Heights. I speak for myself. I just want to let you know that, uh, you know, there's items in this, in this $900 million that are going to encumber the Shell Corporation that has not been reviewed by the Project Area Committee in the uh, Adelante Zone, and that you're required to do so by state law. And then I would like to state on the record that uh, the CRA staff has inhibited uh, the meetings uh, by uh, last month in February. They did not provide meeting rooms, translation. Well, yeah, they allowed the meeting room after, after we came. But there was no translation services, no agenda distribution under the Brown Act, no printing of agendas, no posting of agendas, no recording of the minutes, uh, no uh, minutes of the meeting and they did not list our agenda on the CRA website, uh, which is a violation of uh, state law and the bylaws that uh, the city incorporated itself with the Avalante project area. Uh, it's kind of sad that, you know, I put this on the agenda for the Ballheads River Council. I'm going to submit this for the record. We didn't have quorum to vote on it, but, you know, it's going to be on next month. And also, just to let you know that there is an LA Times article that basically said this was just a simple misunderstanding. The fact that they pulled supportive services away from the CRA Project Area Committee. Uh, Mr. Dictana was quoted uh, in the Opinion article. Um, the other issue is this, uh, LA 32, which is the neighborhood council that encumbers uh, the Biomed Center, voted 14 to 1, and this is just stating the fact, to support Governor Brown's proposal to eliminate the CRA. So what you're doing here, you're violating the spirit of what our neighborhoods are telling you to do. We want this money to be encumbered to the state and have it come back for local services, okay? We want this money to be used for local services. Thank you.